Hello and welcome back to Straight Talk. This week marks the official start to the NAFTA negotiations. From Wednesday through Sunday, officials from the United States, Canada, and Mexico are scheduled to meet at the Marriott Wardman Park Hotel in Washington to begin the negotiation process for revamping the North American Free Trade Agreement. You can expect NAFTA to be a topic reported by the mainstream media, considering it was one of President Trump's campaign promises to put America first. CQ News stated, quote, The negotiations have high stakes for Trump, whose anti-NAFTA message helped him win Ohio, Michigan, and Wisconsin in the November elections. Unions, environmental groups, and activists say he must make good on his America First campaign promises to fix a trade agreement he called a bad deal for U.S. factory workers in parts of the industrial United States. During his presidential campaign, Trump declared NAFTA to be a total disaster. If he wants to make America first, safe, and great again, he should be looking to remove us from NAFTA and not simply renegotiate it. Just because Trump withdrew from the TPP doesn't mean we are out of harm's way. Renegotiating NAFTA is exactly what globalists want as the next step toward regional government. The result of such negotiations could be the establishment of a North American Union, which would serve as a stepping stone toward an even larger global union or world government under the United Nations. According to the New American Magazine, quote, While multilateral trade agreements generally are presented as somehow based on the concept of free enterprise, they are actually better examples of government-managed trade and NAFTA as it is presently constituted and under these objectives, would continue to give power to government, in this case a multinational government, to regulate private enterprise. Over the coming months, there will be six areas that will likely be discussed during the negotiating process. These are currency manipulation, investor state dispute settlement, vehicle rule of origin, Canadian supply management, chapter 19 dispute resolution, and softwood lumber. Now, these six areas may seem important, but they are just a front to the true monster, a North American Union. As American citizens, we need to stay informed about what is happening with the NAFTA negotiations and read between the lines. Changes within NAFTA may advance the plan for a North American Union and then ultimately world government. Larry Greenlee, director of missions for the John Birch Society, said, quote, Beware when you read anything from the United States Trade Representative about the NAFTA renegotiations. The USTR will portray these negotiations as all about trade and jobs. However, what's really at stake is our national independence and personal freedom. Instead of renegotiating NAFTA, why not scrap the agreement altogether? The John Birch Society is urging all citizens concerned about the loss of America's sovereignty to contact your state legislators to urge them to get us out of NAFTA. Join with us and help us take a stand. Feel free to check us out at jbs.org to learn more. So until next time, take care always and God bless.